He has to be ready to teach a class and mashallah he's busy. I have a few minutes inshallah uh, to be fair to the lecture of uh, Sheikh Omar Sobhidar. You had uh, some questions. We'll take a few questions and then we have some announcements. Uh, we're also very honored to have the organizer of the first Halal Expo in Canada, which will happen in October, inshallah. He's here, he's going to tell us and give us good news. So I want you to feel good about what's happening. And we are involved, myself and Sheikh Omar, in this effort, inshallah. He will tell us a little bit. But let's take some questions for the uh, next few minutes uh, for the for Sheikh Omar, inshallah. Please, anybody? Yes. Uh, Dr. Walid, go ahead. Uh, uncle, Uncle, give us a chance. Him and I'm coming to you. Something 
something that's becoming more and more uh, common now in the industry. Lacto ovo vegetarian. Lacto ovo vegetarian. If you ask for that, then there's no question about its halalness. Yeah. Okay? There's no question about its halalness. Halalness, I'll just make that word up. Okay? But that's an, a better alternative to kosher in the absence of halal. But good news. Alhamdulillah. More and more companies are now taking up halal more seriously. And very soon you're going to see the halal label even more on packaged goods, which is not going to start coming at par eventually, if not overtake kosher, inshallah. So in the moment, for, for practical uses, you would want to bank off of COR for the time being, as long as there's no alcohol inside the listed ingredients. That's just for now, until we can get up there, inshallah. The chickens are fed. You can actually find this on the government website, the CFIS website. They have the whole document. On, the, on what goes inside the feed. Uh, we, at this moment, are not in control of the feed. Keep this in mind. We're not at that level yet. However, as of this year, we've already begun making inputs okay, on how we're going to regulate the feed. It's, it's, it, it's step by step. We're getting there, inshallah. But if we want to get complete information, just Google Animal Feed CFIA, and we've got a whole page telling you what goes on inside the feed. Okay, I think we'll take the last question. We didn't hear from sisters. Sisters, no question today? Only one sister can be asked. We'll go to Brother Azam. If nobody will take the last question, then we have some announcements and we have a presentation by our colleagues, inshallah. So, Azam. Yeah. We have so many restaurants in the, in the GTA, and they have uh, been giving you know, certification, you know, like the Chinese restaurants, Thai restaurants, and all those people, you know. And yet they are serving uh, the liquor inside it. We spoke about it. We spoke. We spent maybe 20 minutes answering that. We answered that question because I think the people have been here since four o'clock. They don't want to hear the same answer. Yeah. If it's uh, simply, if you go to a restaurant, if you are, if you care about halal, would you be the same person who sells alcohol? So, if you see alcohol there, Charlie, what do you call it? Charlie Walker. <laughs> All of this thing. And the thing that guy who serves up all cares about halal, we need to use common sense. Okay, and the money is mixed. We know the money from alcohol is haram. So, if that, that, common sense. I think because of the time, Maghrib is coming in. Brothers, may I ask you to move to the, the best spot of the masjid is the right. Move to the right, others are coming in now. May Allah bless you. Okay, uh, I'll ask a brother, uh, Nasser the 